ended the last session with Dr. James West um, confronting a group of cultists and being shot in the stomach with a 10-gauge hunting shotgun. As this was happening, the party was a mere few seconds away from the well. Were we? We were eating breakfast. Yeah, we were eating no, breakfast you... and he ran out screaming like an insane yeah. person. Yeah, we, were, uh, we didn't we, leave as... at all. You did. As uh, the session ended, you guys were coming up to the lake. I was actually going to go to the store to call in aid. Remember, had this whole conversation about buying supplies, maybe hiring Pinkertons? I think you're thinking of the person who just joined us. Um, Sorry, guys. Kingsley. I think Kingsley was the one that was about to run off again by himself. Okay, yes. You are right. It was just Kingsley who ran away. As one yeah, by yeah, one, uh, we all commit suicide. Yeah, we're definitely getting supplies. I can't, like, stop thinking about how dangerous that well is. So That's it's what I'm saying. Like... One by one, each of us is going to, for some reason, run to the well and get shotguns to the face. Well, wait a minute. Uh, the reason I'm the reason James went without me was because I came back here to get supplies. We came back here to get supplies and shit, so I'm yeah. still getting supplies. We're getting supplies. Oh, yeah, interesting. Okay. Um... To go save James, but I don't know James is fucking dead. I just imagine he went up to the wood. You guys all heard the gunshots anyway. Yeah, yeah I remember like, that. Was, oh, that's a the, that's a ten gauge shotgun. We all heard the cannon go like badoom. Like what the <laughs> hell? Okay, but, so we return. That? We return to the party then. Currently in the village, kind of sitting in the bar, well, in the pub. Just hearing these loud shots and probably looking between yourselves, thinking, "What the fuck?" There was only one, right? Uh, no, there were multiple gunshots. Yeah, because I think they missed him once. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Because he was running for and a bit. And you fired a shot as well. Uh, I don't think I actually fired anything out of my own gun. Because the only attack I actually made was a miss as I tried to club in the back of the head. Oh Maybe yes, I did you were fire. Right. Yeah. Maybe I did. Uh I think I'm. I'm pretty sure you 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 did shoot one shot. That was what alerted them to your presence. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they That's fired right. first, and then maybe I fired in return after that. <clears throat> Finally, but there was blown. a there was a good few gunshots, and then a loud cannon, mm -hmm. um, subverted by a few seconds of silence, and there hasn't been another of those since. Well, that's no uh, good. Yeah, you guys are basically sitting in the pub currently. You would have just finished your breakfast, since I remember now that. Uh, you came back, and you're now getting supplies, was the plan. Yeah, but after we hear a bunch of gunshots, first of all, that's in the village, right? Well, no, okay. it's not in the village, it's outside the village. Um, It's close to the village. Yeah, yeah it's, it's in close. earshot, yes. Well, uh, earshot is several miles. Guns can be heard for miles. Right. Right, so that, so but, that sounds pretty close, and it was also several reports of small pistols and a shotgun which is not what you usually so that that's not hunting noise is what i'm getting at it's not hunting noise definitely no, that sounds like a firefight which i think uh, you know i think the major would be uh actually what was your rank who which one old guy you mean me yeah what was shaw's rank captain captain i believe yeah yep Okay, so yeah, so that might trigger PTSD and old Cap here, uh, and I'm experienced with gunfire. So, um, and of course, we just saw West run out of here like being a crazy person. So it's like, oh god, I'm gonna roll my eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, well, that sounds like bad news. Definitely, um, you, you can all assume that something's just gone down. <laughs> There's only one phone in town, is that correct? Yes. And who has the who did we last year had the phone? The cobbler. Okay. How far away is the cobbler from here? Right next to the church. How far away is the church from here? Across the street. Okay. I'm going to go look outside. It's daylight, correct? Yep. You can see a few people in the village kind of walking around. 
going about their daily business. It seems that considering this area is largely wooded, uh, you can assume that they probably just assumed it was hunting noise. Could be really bad hunters, but I also worry that West may have done something stupid because uh, there was pistol fire, and I know West carries a pistol, mm -hmm. which is ill suited for hunting. Yes. Definitely. Hi. Um. Well, no one else seems really spooked by this, and there's no obvious corpse in the road. Um, I'm going to go back to Captain here and say, a uh, bit of odd business. Um, do you think uh, um, Dr. West may have done something untoward? The energy that he produced this morning on his way out would lead me to believe so. However, given the frequency and loudness of those shots, it doesn't uh, occur to me that Anything we could do in the immediate would be of any help to anybody. Well, West may have gone... Um, how well do you know this West fellow? He's was, you know, he was blooded in the war, right? I believe so, uh, James... but I don't know that. I not, was not participant in the, the war that he was in. Alright, well, he may have gotten himself into a spat with the locals and may have gone to ground. Ah... Uh going to bite my lip here because I'm thinking, like, do I really want to go looking for him? Get my own full head shot off. Um, I suppose that you and uh, Rabbit can keep going for the supplies. I suppose it's up to me to go look for him. Just one by one, we all suicide well, ourselves. I, I told you guys that I'm getting supplies to go help James. Because he okay. Ran off. Good. Well, then, I guess, Cap, you might as well just, if you want to come, that's fine, or sit tight. I'm going to go see if I can find uh, find out what happened. As I said, I will be heading to the Cobblers as soon as I'm finished with this Continental Breakfast. All right. Uh, I'll finish my toast, and, uh, you know, sorry, grab my toast, and I will go outside. And I guess if there's people walking around... Uh, I just want to be casual about this. Ah, oh, that was awfully loud. It's people hunting really close to town. Kind of weird, huh? You see people give you a bit of a look, or just ignore you. You, you you've, you've, you've noticed that a few times when you've tried to speak to locals. Yep. Um, they I just look kind of look at you, and they hear your uh, English accent and just ignore you. Uh, hey, I have a French accent. Oh, sorry, yes. That's even worse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I actually speak English good enough to not have an accent, but I'm speaking with a French accent, because screw off, you flimies. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I don't need to blend in. All right, well, I, since there's not a pitched gun battle on the street and West doesn't come running back saying, you've got to help me, I'm going to go look for him. Okay, and I believe our resident hunter, Mr. Kingsley, you are following Kerman up to the lake to find James, aren't you? Well, I'm I'm actually leading him up to the house that we that we got up to that it was too dark to continue. The yep. right where I set up point. And Nathaniel, what are you doing during this time? You're just enjoying your breakfast, right? Well, I believe you said at the very beginning that we had actually just finished our breakfast, which I guess means I'll be heading off to the cobblers to make use of his phone. Okay. During this, Mr. James West. You here? Right here. Okay. You wake up after a undetermined amount of time. Um, yeah, after an unknown amount of time. Uh, still in the same spot that you were. In fact. Uh, huh. give me... So like propped up against the wall. Uh almost as if you'd literally just been hit by the shotgun bolts. Uh, the shotgun bolts, the shotgun shells. You are lying sprawled against the wall and the floor. Uh you look down quickly to check your stomach in instinct and you realize your your clothes are all ripped and covered with your own blood. Uh, you see red and black stains on the floor. It's generally disgusting, but you also notice around you other mixed substances, blood. You see 
the shotgun shells on the floor. Uh, and as you begin to pat yourself down, wondering, you know, what the fuck is happening. Yeah, how much damage your there hands, is. Your hands move to your smooth stomach. Uh, your clean chest. You know, you check your arms, everything. And you don't seem to have any wounds remaining. Yeah, that, all the, st the, st the stains on your clothes and body would indicate that you had just been shot. And you actually feel your coat a little, and you do feel you do rub off some of this still damp blood onto your hands. So I don't appear to be injured whatsoever, despite all the evidence, and despite obviously passing out after knowing that I just got shot. Mm-hmm. So, my first question will be, what do I hear around me? Silence. Not even the shuffling of the people who were here before. You can make a listen check if you wish. Okay. Let's give it a go. Because if they just left me for dead and I made some bizarre, miraculous recovery that wasn't their fault, I'm sure they'd come back and finish the job. Uh, you stay for a moment, um, still panicking a little. You know, this isn't exactly a pleasant thing to experience for you. And as you, um, as you sit there, you uh, focus your senses and you listen for a moment. You hear the distant dripping of water um, coming from both beneath you and from where you came from. And you can hear a soft groaning coming from the south. Almost like something's in pain. Hmm. Someone else is in pain, but I don't... I only remember hurting one other person, and... Uh, he's somewhere else. Well... I guess I do a reasonably quick check to see if anything on my immediate person is missing, like the medical bag, the 9 1911. Okay. Um, I just try to move very quietly and not make additional noise. Do you want to make me a spot check, or a spot hidden check, or whatever it's called? Okay. Just to check your gear. Alright! <laughs> so, upon completely checking your body. Um, you now notice... Uh, you wear gloves, don't you? I'm pretty uh, sure you're one yeah. of the characters who wear gloves. Yes, I'm, I'm a fashionable you. individual. You wear leather gloves. You do notice that your right glove is missing. And you appear to have um, rather extreme bruises and cuts on your right knuckles and fingers. As if you just punch through razor wire. Huh. And this doesn't hurt right now or anything? Or no, am I just still in shock? You've been mostly in shock. Yeah. You imagine it probably would hurt, hurt a little. Uh, mm. But your body is still going through the first few stages of... the last few stages of shock. Hmm. But they, they are still there. They aren't, like, cut off or anything. They're just heavily injured. Okay. Yes, heavily injured. You, um, with your, with, with your extreme, I'll, I'll let you know, it does kind of also look like something's been biting at them. Like you've had your hands in, like, a dog's mouth or something. Ah. Uh. I'm not sure what exactly is going on, then. And I've already seen the result of me at Attempting to uh, fight other people with shotguns in point blank range. Mm -hmm. I think James might attempt to slip off a little bit and uh, try heading back to the pool. Okay. Of course, he so... would like to do this uh, rather quietly and not bring attention back to himself. As you are doing that, Kingsley and Kerman. Uh, you have just arrived on the edge of the lake. 
Okay. Are you both here? Okay. Yes, sir. As, as a... Keeping track of player names is hard. Is Griff here? I am Griff. I'm playing Wes. Yeah, you're Griff. Rafferty, there we go. Yeah. Is that it? Um I went yes. to go look for uh I went to go look for West. Okay, yeah, just making sure um that you were here as well. So you guys have just arrived you and uh Kingsley have gone together. And you guys have just arrived on the edge of the lake. Okay. Uh I don't I I went to go look for West. Yes, he went to the lake. There was a house there was a building near the lake that they found that he went into. Kingsley okay, knew and... where he went, is what I was saying. Oh, so Kingsley stopped from getting the supplies to come rendezvous with me. Well, yes. I was getting the supplies this morning, yeah. Right. I wasn't going to wait for you to come back with the supplies. I was going to go look for West. No, he got them before. Okay, so we already had them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, e either way, either you spend... Hours. Well, we can't. We can't leave. If the two of us go to the lake, what is anyone going to escort Captain Shaw? That leaves him back at the house alone and unattended, or back at the inn alone. Hey, man, I, I said it like twenty times that my goal was coming here, get my supplies, go out to West. I have no clue who, uh, you know, your boss is. Or... It's what we covered in midweek that I am your boss. No, yeah, I understand Captain... it, but I don't know you. Like I know you're the boss, but I do not know you. You know, like like uh, character wise, I do not know you. Uh, I you just know you. Guy. You? Do you mean me, Kerman? No, I mean uh, the old man. Uh... We, so you, yeah, so we covered you... in midweek that apparently I'm his boss, but he doesn't know me. Is what we're going for. Because so... James brought me. So James is your friend, but you know that West is sponsoring. The, yeah. the thing is, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I was confused on the time. I thought that Kingsley went to go get supplies, and while that was going on, we heard the gunshots. So I went to go investigate, but apparently, I came back, rendezvoused with Kingsley, and the two of us want to go to the lake. No, that's basically he'd gone out and got them. Then you heard the gunshots when he got back. And okay, then you so, decided to leave. So he was still here. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I guess we should take the captain with us. Sorry, we have to. And uh, we. I don't want to leave. If the two of us go out and leave you here, there's no way you'd find us later. So we. And I've said that you guys can just go. <laughs> I'm All just right, staying yes. here. Right. Yeah. Because said you guys can just go. I'm thinking long term. You guys yeah. are acting in the immediate. We leave the captain there, and the two of us go out to the lake. I'm just checking yes. the time. I didn't understand that. All right, so I guess we go out to the lake. Uh, it, do we uh, see any sign of anything? I'm worried. Uh, I'm vigilant for poachers or shooters or whatever. I would like you both to make me spot checks. Because I don't know if Wes spooked anybody. Plus, that was just really loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, make me spot checks if you wish. Just kind of check. Oh, nice, Kingsley. Love it. Um, so you, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Um, Kingsley, you spot uh, over by the uh, small building that you guys found the other night, or well, last night actually. You see what appears to be a humanoid figure slumped against the brickwork on the outside. Okay, I, I would raise my rifle and motion to um, uh, sorry, Raph, I keep forgetting your guy's name. Kerman. To, uh, Kerman, like quietly and point at the guy. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, the person seems to be wearing a thick leather coat. Uh... And an Ushanka hat. They're, you say they're slumped against the building, they're motionless? I mean, we sit yes. here for a little bit. Okay, yeah. um, I, I will move some distance away from Kingsley to not reveal his position. Uh, and then I will stand up and say, hey, hello there. Uh, they remain motionless. Okay. Uh, se secure in the knowledge that Kingsley is covering me, I will approach. Okay. Uh, how close do you want to get? 
all the way up to him. Okay. He doesn't move or anything, no matter how close you get, and you, you're now about three feet away from the guy? Yeah. Uh, you see he is medium build. He's wearing big, thick combat boots. Um, no one I recognize. A, a giant leather coat, a Nushanka hat, and he is covered. Underneath his coat, you can see like his shirt, and you see a current open wound in the center of his chest that is bleeding heavily. All right. Uh, now that I'm closer, can I see if he's breathing or anything? He doesn't appear to be. Hmm. Well, that's rather tragic. Um. Well, I don't care about uh, Corpus Delecti. Uh, I will open his coat. Okay. Uh, what, you, what? What do you mean? You like inspect? I want to get better. You you said he's bleeding. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna touch the body and find out what killed him. <laughs> You um you open the coat up and currently the shirt seems to be obscuring most of the wound, but it seems to be two separate wounds in the top center of the chest. So it looks like he's been shanked. Um, looks more like he's been shot twice in the chest with a pistol. Okay. All right. I do not have to make a sand loss for seeing a dead body, as I am inured. Yes, you've you've seen the war. You've you've seen the ship before. Uh, well, no, I'm a criminal. I've killed people before. Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, so he's been shot twice and is quite dead. And I have no idea. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, is he dead? Oh, yeah, he's definitely dead. Yeah, uh, put my fingers on his neck. Do I feel a pulse? No, you do not. Uh, can you make me a spot check quickly? Uh, of course I can. Nice. I um, can't roll it. That's extreme. <laughs> you see that you inspect the wound and the body a bit more carefully, and you notice that the exit wounds are facing towards you. This man was shot in the back. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, this uh, guy was ex executed, essentially. This He didn't see it coming. Well, shot in the back. Execution, they usually shoot you in the head. He may have been shot in the back while he's trying to flee. Do I see, like, a streak of blood against the wall where he dragged himself or anything? Um, yes, you do. And as okay. you look now, you see he, he seems to have propped himself here and just died. But also, they're two gunshot wounds, so not a giant freaking hole. No. So, uh, or, or an ass full of buckshot. So it looks like he was shot. It's not the kind of thing that happens here. All right. Um, I'm going to like turn and wave at Kingsley. You know, that I think it's safe. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to walk towards him. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, now before Kingsley, before you get too close, I've got to ask. Uh, you know, you've seen him things like back in the war, right? I've killed people. No, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he he's got an immunity to sanity loss from seeing corpses. All right. Well, well, come on over. I think this man's. Uh, I think this guy took two in the back. Um, keep your eyes peeled in case somebody shows up. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through his pockets. Go see if there's any form of identification or anything on this fellow. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh, and and also since Kingsley says he did buy for, I'll grab the guy. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll grab the guy's head, move it like a puppet to show it to Kingsley. Do you know who this is? Uh, do I know who it is? Uh, no, not a, you've not seen this guy before. Okay, neither do I. Now I'll go through his pockets. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Thought it was my cousin for a second, but that, that would make no sense. Uh, I'm not here to judge. You can have Scottish cousins. Yeah, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. We're in the... All right, so going through his... Well, what's he got on him? Uh, you rifle through his pockets. You find... A uh, pack of Marlboro cigarettes. In Britain? Um, you think these two British made by British labor? He doesn't. He, uh, You inspect him further and you see his skin is a little darker than a British person. Hmm. But he's got a pack of Marlboro cigarettes. Um, a letter of some kind. Hmm. And a few empty bullet casings. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Okay, so he bothered to pick up his as, casings, but his bullets and his gun are not here. As well as that. Oh, he's got a gun? Uh, no, he doesn't have a gun. Folded up 
in his hand. I assume you would have fully checked him over. Yeah. Well, I, I, like I said, I don't care about preserving the crime scene. I'm just going through them. Folded up in his hand, you find a necklace hmm. on a um, black rope that is this. Rope necklace with a weird thing. Huh. This must have sentimental value because it doesn't look it's valuable. All right. It does not look valuable at all. All right. Um, I don't have Cthulhu Mythos. I do have a cult. Okay. So, uh, if you wish to use a cult, you can. I totally do. There's another is, extreme success, boys. Oh, no. Is for forensic science a thing? Do is there like people who like uh, uh, dust for fingerprints and stuff like that? Well, I'm oh, yeah, in, the, in the wilderness. Fingerprint, fingerprint science has been around for decades. Okay. Yeah. I mean, also that would be very hard to do right now. Right. Of course. Given. Yeah, but we, but we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, fingerprinting has been around for decades. By the way, we're not fingerprinters; we're criminals. Mm. So, um, okay, so I'll pocket that. But he has no wallet, no ID, just this letter. Suspiciously, his gun is gone. But he bothered mm. to pick up spent shells. That's suspicious. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody because... told him to pick up the shells, and they shot him in the back while he was picking them up. Well, yeah, but that's something that you know people in my line do because ballistic science is also around at this time yes it is so he's got all the hallmarks of a crook uh but it looks like they shot him and looted him because um uh i'll stand watch kingsley you're the woodsman do you want to like look around see if you can find his maybe he dropped his gun somewhere yeah but i'm also thinking could it be like uh hillbillies and guns being so limited they they're not willing to uh to leave that be you can't you have to use a bullet press to press bullets back in but it's also more where's his gun that's the question i have why does he have shells in his pocket but no gun and if he doesn't have a gun you know why is he just wandering around the woods with shells getting shot in the back that's why he, just look around if you can't find his um uh gun we can at least find out how long he walked before he exsanguinated he was shot in the back he could have been walking for seconds or minutes yep i'll um, do that i'll do that i, I show him my the, the the shells that i have in my pocket sometimes you don't want people to know you were here right that i can understand but i was also led to understand this isn't a high crime area i don't know let's just see see if you can like in other words you use your tracking you've got tracking i don't okay. wow okay. nice um so what are you looking for specifically, Kingsley? His gun. Okay. You spend a bit of time um, searching around the surrounding area. About a, a good ten minutes, easy. And your search comes up with nothing. However, you do find a few interesting artifacts around... Not artifacts. A few interesting details around. For example... You find a small wild dog, dead, uh, quite recently dead, in fact, to the point where it was still warm, that has been shot twice in the chest again. This guy was still warm? This guy was not warm. This guy was cold. Really? Did he have rigor? Um, what do you mean by that? Like his joints were locked up? Like his fingers were stiffening up? No. Okay, so he's not. So he's been dead, but only for a couple hours. Dog, mm -hmm. however, has been killed more recently. That's kind of weird. Okay, keep going. Uh, okay, atop that, you do find a few extra casings littered around Kingsley. Uh, these this time, rather than for like small pistol, these are like five, five, six rounds. Okay, well, so like rifle cartridges. Uh, what about uh, this guy's path? Because it looks like he moved and was slumped against the wall. We've, uh, there must be tracks around somewhere. Surprisingly, um, Kingsley isn't able to find any tracks. Wow, and you rolled like half as good. That's what I'm telling you, dude. They're hillbillies, and they just don't want to get in trouble for being here. They're not supposed to be here in the, in the so close to the village. I'll take a look at this letter. Um, hopefully it's in a language I can read. Can you read French? You can, can't you? Well, French is my native language. Yes. Awesome. Um, it is a letter of recommendation. Ha! Huh. 
from some form of hunter's society, as it calls itself. Um, essentially explaining that this guy, whose name was... Where is my thing? There it is. Hunter 4. Oh, shit, wrong one. Matthew McConaughey. Wait, I don't know how to use that. That's an before. actor. That is an actor. I didn't yeah. realize that's where the name comes from. Well, I'm calling this guy Matthew McConaughey, according to my notes. <laughs> oh, okay. no. that, Wait, was he like in the Cthulhu show? <laughs> Wait, he has a but so Matthew McConaughey, who apparently is this fellow, so he's Irish, um, has a letter of recommendation from that's written in French. Yes, from he's some, in Scotland, from some French hunting society. Mm -hmm. well, I guess I'm Matthew McConaughey now. <laughs> oh God, uh, he had no idea on him, so. Fair. And you do uh, see that the letter is stamped and sealed. Well, I, well, it I had to sealed. unseal it. To no, it was, it was already unsealed, but the yeah. seal uh, wax stamp is still remaining on the letter. Weird. So it's a guy wandering around the woods with no guns and a letter of recommendation from a hunting society. And that mm -hmm. name, McConaughey, that doesn't mean... I mean, Kingsley, you're a hunter. Does that mean anything to you? Is there a history skill? Like remembering shit. I guess I would form that idea check. Uh, there's um, I thought there was a skill for knowing people, but I may be wrong. Anthropology is the uh... just roll me well, a flat idea check. Just say he's not famous. That's he, fine. Kingsley, yeah, he's yeah. not. He's not famous. But if you want to try and think about it, just roll me an idea check. So just roll me a flat D one hundred, Kingsley. Yeah. I'll give you an answer based on your result. Hey, um, no, you've definitely not heard the this this guy. Yeah, name with the thirteen. Yeah, whoever this guy is. So he's got some letter recommendation from a French hunting society that we've also never heard of, and he's wandering around the woods, getting shot in the back with a pistol, and then dying without mm -hmm. any hunting license on him, mm -hmm. which is highly suspicious. What one of my meaningful locations is a hiking trail in France. Do I know the 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 hiking the the hunting society? Not the one By mentioned name? in the what? Not this one mentioned in no, the. No, but this might actually be a forgery, as I point out. It's like it, yep. some made up the hunting society in France. We'd have to go look this up. Uh, this upon, might just be this guy's cover letter. Upon thinking about that, Kingsley, um, you can use. A skill, if you wish, to try and determine it's if it's fake or not. Uh, probably something similar to an intelligence check, or anything that you can think of that would be more relevant in that situation, like a credit a credit rating check. Actually, yeah. Well, can I make one of those? I specialize in this kind of crap. That's what that, that's what I said. Sorry, no, Kerman. Yeah, Some, something similar to to that. Yeah. Awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is fake. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, um, I've seen letters like this before. It's just a fake letter of recommendation. Like I said, it's especially suspicious. He doesn't have a license, but he has a recommendation. So, um, yeah, no, this is this guy is some sort of criminal, whoever, uh, even if he is McConaughey. Um, does his hat fit me? <laughs> his hat does fit him quite snugly. No, does it fit me? Um, it would, but it, it, it does, yes, but it's kind of got a bit of blood on it as well. Well, I thought he was shot in the back. Uh, blood flows downwards and he was slumped against the wall, so I would think his hat would be clean. It's got flex here and there. It's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> if it's Keanu Reeves, let him go. What? Um, it's got, he's got flex all over the place. You could clean it off with a good wipe. It's, if, do, 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 do you blood stains in cotton. Stealing? It doesn't come out. Do you, do, you, do you want to steal this dead man's hat? <laughs> well, if I was going to impersonate him, the hat would help. But if it's covered in... Well, it's only got a few spots of blood on it. I'll take it. No, I'm okay. thinking, like, um, nothing to spook the guys who shot him and show up and say, ha-ha. Okay. Um, uh, while this is happening, Nathaniel. 
Yo. Uh, we, we, you were heading straight to the cobblers, weren't you? Yep, to use the phone. Okay. So, um, you arrive at the cobblers, the front door's open, and you see uh, a little old man sitting in the shop currently um, taping together some big boots. As you kind of peek through the door, he looks up and he's like, Oi! Uh, hello there. What, what, who, oh, you're the new guys you came into town, aren't you? Uh, what do what you need? Uh, you see he places the boot down on the table and kind of um, folds his hands together. Sorry, I've heard his Smiling name like 15 times now, but I just still don't remember. What was his name again? I haven't even got my notes up. <laughs> for Many time. people have told me his name in character, though. That's that's why I'm asking out of character, as I have just... Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Um, hold on, let me get my... There we go. Time. Like, I would have literally been told in character last night, but it's been a week out of character. It was... David, I believe? David Arquette. Alright. Uh, David, is that your name? He gives you a short nod. Ah, yes. I was told that you are the sole proprietor of the only phone in town. Aye. My son installed it about uh, a year ago. He's good with wires and stuff, but he hasn't been back to the village for a while, so... I'm not sure how to fix it if it breaks, but it seems to be working. We've got a few open lines, yeah. Uh, uh, why do you need to do you need to use it? Ah, uh, yes, I need to make a phone call back to my home office. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, he, he points into the corner of the room where you can see an impromptu phone box that has been set up, okay. like like basically just um, two little walls made out of glass with like a a full on door. Right. So I will go to the phone and use it. Okay. Um, it's a pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice phone actually. It's comparable to something you'd own, uh, but it is a little out of place. And as you kind of pick it up and you go to type in the number, you put it to here and you hear the deafening sound of um, dull tones. Just do do. Dude. Well, that wouldn't exist yet. That only exists once they actually add dial tones. What I'm saying is, you, you hear the noise. I don't know what the actual noise is for no signal. <laughs> it, would, it would be very frustrating. Nothing. <laughs> well, there's something because I'm not letting. You, I'm not just going to make you sit there for ten minutes and figure it out. Well, that yeah, that would you'd hit the receiver operator and then say the phone is dead. Dun, dun, dun. And, and then he would probably just nod and say, yep, sure is. But anyway, you realize the phone is dead. Nathaniel. Perfect. Great. Okay. All right, I'll go back to David. Mm -hmm. As you step out, it's you, he kind of looks at you and says, oh, fast call, wasn't it? Uh, no, it seems like your phone is dead. No, I, I used it this morning. You wanna... Just before the uh, hunters were. Oh, yep. Okay. Okay. G come here. Um, <laughs> just step in there yeah. and uh, put it to your ear and tell me if you hear anything. Uh, he kind of gets up with his little walking cane and cobbles over to the hot uh, cobbles, <laughs> hobbles over to the uh, little impromptu phone booth. Steps inside for a few seconds and steps out and looks and he says, "Yeah, that's weird. I literally used it like an hour ago." Well, it's not working now. Uh, do you do you need it desperately? Are you, are you like, is it something you really need or? Yeah, I was really looking to need it. Um, you don't have to. I could. Um... Sorry, you go ahead. I can um give you the key to the main connection room if you want, and you can go if you know anything about wiring. You can go see if it's been like broken or overloaded or something I do not know anything about wiring how far away is the nearest phone how far were, uh, were we from the train station <laughs> very from far Edinburgh <laughs> wasn't it like a two hour drive away <laughs> yep yeah he, he says like probably like about an hour's walk is there anyone that would allow me to rent their vehicle uh, we don't really 
I don't think so, no. Were you planning you to might... go anywhere today? How much is your car I worth? I, I, I don't buy have your car. car. I will he buy kind of, your car. He kind of motions to his one limp leg and says, I don't drive. Well, I don't know. You could use the cane for one pedal and your good leg for the other. Yeah, that's a good shot, lad, actually. No, I, I just, I'm waiting for my for my boy to come back and then I'll be leaving the village, actually. Uh, but anyway, anyway, that's not here nor there. Um, You might be able to deal Ian out of his car. But he's Ian not been, is oh, the priest? Uh, yes, he's the local the local holy man. But he's not been too talkative recently. Uh, I think he's ill. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Since everyone's been trying to kill him. Right. And then um, your your friend, uh, Clarence, the crazy guy. It's not my friend. Car. Oh. Um, I assumed... Oh, sorry, of course. But he's got a car, I think. Um, he's up by the old ruins, up by the top of the town. You could take that, I guess. You know him, don't you? I've met him, yes. He kind of gives you a shrug and hobbles back over to his chair and sits down. You hear the loud creak of an old wooden chair as he sits in it and he looks at you and he says, I don't know how else I can help you. Um... Tell me, is there anyone around here that sells hunting equipment? Hunting equipment? Uh, what, what do you mean? Like, um, bags and fishing rods and that sort of thing? Yeah, just general hunting equipment. Um, Matthew does, yeah. I, it's not really... You see, he gives you a look and kind of puts finger quotes. He says, it's not really legal stuff. It's not sold from a shop. He doesn't pay any sort of income on it, he just kind of sells people things when they need it from his house. Right. Um, I, will, I will finger quotes from back. General store. I got it. Uh, but he's out at the moment. Uh, he goes out on a morning hunt every day, so he'll be back at about 4? What time is it? Uh, it's not even 12 yet. It's probably about 10 or 11. So what you're telling me is I have a better chance of walking to the nearest phone than I would finding this general store. Matthew. Probably. <laughs> and is the time affected by the fact that this one guy said he is a one hour walk and he hobbles everywhere? How? Um, probably. Alright, well, can you uh, give me directions to the nearest phone? Uh, yeah, um... Hold on. He kind of you see he kind of sighs and gets up off his chair and uh, walks over to a separate cupboard and he kind of rolls up one of the boards and you see it's got like a a, a small local map on it. Uh, the map seems to be very very old. And he um, he kind of looks at it for a few minutes and says, "Um, so you want to go by the pub down the oh, the B60?" Follow that road along until you meet the old dairy farm. Turn left, and then you'll be in the next town, basically. Alright. Well, I'll be back. I'll see you later. Gives you a bit of a nod and hobbles back over to his chair and sits down. God bless the captain. You're gonna hobble next town on his bad leg. <laughs> I mean, I do have a leg injury. It's under my thing, so. It's probably going to take you an hour to get there. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I don't I have a leg scar. I don't have a leg injury, I should say. Oh. I took a spear to the leg a long time ago. Now you're reminded of the old war injury as you hobble along. Yeah, but I don't have a cane. You don't? I'd have a cane. Just for the, just for the cool, maybe coolness I, of having a cane. Maybe if I drove here, I'd keep my cane, but I had to... Carry a light. Anything okay. I could fit in a boxcar. You could be too proud to have a cane, sure. But yeah, that's me for the next hour. Okay. What's your, uh. Probably actually, fully intending to walk to the. Yeah, next what's your con? <laughs> My con is 45. Ah, oh, that's 
not too bad for a man of your advanced age. Yeah, I spread out the uh, the negatives across all three. So, uh, we return to Kingsley and Kerman. What is all your right, plan? So the guy's got no ID on him. He was shot in the back. Uh, like I said, there's no sign of any like tracks of how he got here. I mean, mm -hmm. that's so weird because you're a skilled tracker and he hasn't been dead that long. Mm -hmm. But, um, well, um, and no sign of West, so I guess we'll start heading back out to the... We're not actually at the lake, are we? You are. You're next to the lake, um, outside a building that James West was last seen going into. Oh, wow. So we haven't even gone in the building yet. And no one no. came out to shoot us or chase us off. No. This is just a bad idea. Um, well, I suppose we'll go in now, shall we? In the building, you see, um, as soon as you basically look through the front door, uh, you can see the large hole leading down to a body of water. In the Wait, in the, the, the the, there's a building, and then the building's built around a well? Um, it'll, yeah, but not a well. Like there is, This is literally a hole that has been caved in. Oh, so the building itself, inside, there's a hole. Yes. That's weird. Um, and no one else is inside? Doesn't seem to be, no. There's no ladder or anything that descends into the hole? Because there was a ladder up on the well. No, there is no ladder. It's not okay. that deep. It's not that, like, it's, there's a, there's a small, basically, ramp area that you can see you could climb down and up. Okay, how deep is it? Uh, it goes down about eight feet. Okay, so it's the a, water it's a... appears to be very shallow, and then there is a dripping coming from the roof. Yeah, well. I mean, I'll grab a rock and toss it in. Mm -hmm. It just kind of like clinks against the floor. Yeah, so it's a couple inches. It is literally... deep. Yeah, but so it's just a hole in the floor. It's a couple inches deep. Uh, uh, okay. What? So it's a cylinder what? that descends into a pit. That yeah. Hold on. You can see basically that you're on the edge of that. Mm -hmm. and then underneath the building it leads into a cavern it's the same place that uh, Mr. James West came last session and got shot right which we wouldn't know about yeah you wouldn't know about it but if it's an 8 foot drop into here there's no way to get back out once we get back in there is a like I said there is a small ramp where you could reasonably climb up with some difficulty but shining the light down here, we don't see any obvious bodies or anything. Plus, there's no trails or anything. No. You do see that the water, this mm -hmm. water, does appear to have some redness to it. We'll be brown by now. Do we smell copper? No. Hmm. You're not, that really, you're not really that close to the water. You are eight feet away from it. No. Okay. <sighs> Wow, still water, and they built... Why wouldn't you build a house on top of a pit? This is just weird. Um, Man, a lot of weird folks live in the forest. Well, there's lots of caves down here, and who knows what the crummy heck is down here. We don't even know if this is where West went. Um, yes, this is where we went, we came together, and then from here on, uh, we went back. His friend, the, the trail, the track to his friend led us through here. And James was after his friend. And someone was shot twice and left for dead. This is so weird. Alright, well, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'll go down. Uh, okay. James. Hey. As you're getting to your feet, you hear a loud splash come from nearby. Hmm. As... Basically, Kerman and Kingsley have just jumped into the water. Okay. So I don't know that, and it looks like I'm on the catacomb side. I guess mm -hmm. I'm in the process of just, like, standing up at the moment. Yes. Uh, I don't know who's coming yet, so I definitely want to try going here. And just sort of peering around this corner. Okay. Um, Kerman, are you carrying a flashlight with you, did you say? I have a torch, yeah. Battery powered and everything. Click. 
Um, how am I gonna do that? Um, was that a map feature that was there before, or it's just really nope. dark? It's hard to tell. Okay. Nope, that appears to be a corpse. Yeah, I mean, I know Kingsley is a working class fellow, but I, I have, co I come from money. So. Uh, uh, what do you mean, a uh, corpse? I just see the pool in Kingsley. Yeah, you don't see anything. All right. But we do see that passage that goes off to the side. Um, Kingsley, uh, what are you armed with again? Uh, Lee, uh, I am with the... Uh, uh, let me see if I have more. I have a Lee Enfield Mark Three and a Hunter Knight. All right, so it's two long arms. Okay, well, you should probably have the hunting rifle out. And Enfield is like... Wow. wow! A hunting knife. A hunting knife. Yeah, go ahead and have the rifle out. Uh, are you alone, or did you bring your dog? I, I would have brought my dog to the to the wood, especially here. Okay, because I don't I don't see an NPC counter for your dog. So okay, I, I don't I didn't I didn't even really know about the dog until he was like, oh, I've got a dog. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I have no I, stats I, prepared. I, dog. We're just gonna say well, it's there. I put it under my Simnik and people, but I didn't think it was gonna have any stats. I was just thinking it's just you know I'm the one who's doing all the roles. Okay. And then whatever they were sold, we assumed the dog helped. Um, so, um, all right, well, I guess I'll go to here. Why don't you come with me? All right, so I don't know if, yeah, if you can, wow, this is a maze of twisty passages, isn't it? Okay, we're underground. Are there any tracks here at all? Uh, it's pretty dusty on the floor, so, you know, dirty, you can't really tell. Well, but, but there's no environmental factors that wash away tracks, so if people were no. walking through here, they'd still be here. I mm -hmm. have a question for them. Would they notice a lantern right here at this corner? Also, I brought Kingsley, who's a skilled tracker, with me, so he might notice these things. If you want to check, make, 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 make a roll. Okay. That'll be a track roll or a spot hidden roll? You can use either, giving different results. Well, I might as well roll spot hidden then. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because, I mean, it's not like I'm not vigilant for stuff. Uh... Okay. Um. Oof. So, Kingsley, you notice a great amount of tracks. Now you kind of realize that the reason it looks like there's no track is because there are loads. Right, like, that would make sense. This, this is a high traffic area by the looks of it. Most of the foot tracks lead in that in this direction. Here all the time. I guess if you're local, you've got nothing better to do. Um, I'm not going to begrudge people their whatever weird stuff. Alright, well, there's a murder victim up there, so... Stay vigilant. Uh, oh, it's, not, it's not like we can be all that stealthy. All right, is that a rise to the north? Yes. And you do hear, do hear a soft moaning noise coming from this direction, like someone in pain. Hmm. Well, that's a sign. Uh... A question while they're exploring is this body like a child sized body that would fit in the coffins that I'm next to? No, it is a full, full, full size body. Isn't that what a bone saw is for? <laughs> Make it compact. It uh, appears to be a full, full body. It does appear to be recent. Mm hmm. Very recent. Uh, James, you can hear the moaning and painful noise getting a little closer now. So it's and up. you can also hear a soft dragging noise and some stress. Almost like Painful. someone in pain is dragging themselves towards you, know, you. I got uh, my 1911 out. I just want to like peek back around this corner some curiosity overwhelming. Someone is in pain. Uh -oh. You see um, a large, quite a large, um, bald man with no shirt on. 
with straps and pouches across his body kind of crawl towards you. Uh, you see that the man has multiple holes in his back that he's heavily bleeding out. And his hand reaches your shoe and he kind of puts it on your shoe and looks at you. Um, he tries to he tries to say something, but doesn't seem to be able to get any words out. As uh, you feel his grip kind of loosen on your shoe, and his head hits the floor, and he falls silent. Hmm. All right, dead. I don't think I have enough in my medicine bag to like replace two gallons of human blood or anything. Mm hmm. You call yourself a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, if only I was carrying my uh my medical bathtub with me. Well, I forget when blood typing comes in new. Uh, That's a good on. question, actually. What that? Even... I'm guessing it's in this time period. We're what the 20s. That's it's, a it that's was, a point to research. Was, that shit was done in the Second World War. Surprisingly, that's one thing I do know here. Yeah. Oh wow. yeah, if only I had that. So this guy's already uh, dead. But yes, um, Kingsley and Kerman, you guys have just heard the moaning and painfulness stop. <clears throat> um, okay, James, sure. I, believe, I believe at this point you can hear the footsteps approaching, and I believe you can see a little bit of the light. You can, can't you? I, I definitely could see the light, because yeah, I know so the you... shape of this passage, you can see like bouncing around there. You can see, at this point, a little bit of the light um, shining out. Right, so now it's time to like ah. back up here and go, who's approaching? Figure it out. Hold on. Let me actually just... Uh, you know what? It's, it's fine. I won't do it. But, yeah, you can... Oh, God. At this point, I'm pretty sure, James, you would be able to see your friends, Kingsley and Kerman. <laughs> yeah, you just see, like, James' head, like, poking out from the side, pretending that he's completely hidden. Well, that's kind of a problem. <laughs> you, you would see a shining light. Yes, you would yeah. see the light. They Whereas would we would see you. Yeah. You see me, like, probably dart my head back as if I'm hiding. Um, Kingsley, step back. Wait. Yeah, I just moved Kermit. myself. Yeah. You, show yourself. We know you're there. Carmen, it's, it's me. I'll just sort of, like, take a step out. Uh, Wes, you fool, what are you doing down here? I'm sure from Upon... here you can probably see like the massive blood all over. What it. have you done? I I don't know, but there's others here. Get over here then. James will kind of like go here, take a peek around the corner first, and then dart across this. It's good to know there's a corner there. Well, I'm guessing it's not his well, muttered King's I'm guessing that's not his blood. He moves quick for a man who'd be drained. So James what? is now back. Damn, man. What the bloody hell have you gotten yourself mixed up in? There's a corpse upstairs. There's one around the corner, too. Uh, Strange, I... We leave you alone, and suddenly there's two murderers, and you don't have an alibi. Oh, I think I do. I think I was dead. I felt that way. Uh, spill the details that you know. There are several individuals here. They had white robes on, and were speaking of some sort of event that they were about to proceed with. They said ritual, but I doubt that's just mumbo jumbo. I'll grab your, sh I'll grab Wes's shirt and shake it. And where did this come from? His open and uh, ripped up and shotgun pellet to destroyed shirt. Because there's also blood on him, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah, we're, that's covering yeah, the shape we're... of the wound. <laughs> You don't have a wound, and you're covered in blood. Yes, exactly. Right. Where'd this come... What did you, you do? You shake James and ask, where does it come from? Yeah. I... I, I we're all I'm friends here. I'm not too here. sure now. Uh, roll my eyes, because you actually did... Were, were you in the war? Yes. Well, crud. But then I've seen people with weak stomachs, and I'm also convinced that you're some half inbred aristocrat. So... He's probably disoriented. Uh, um, I'm going to frisk James for weapons. I'm okay. literally holding one right now. 
Okay. Has he fired his gun recently? Um, it would smell like it's been fired. Yeah, you can't. James is like holding back and like not letting you like get close to his gun. It's like, no, 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 don't. Um, you just him. <laughs> yeah, we're friends here. You can tell us if you've done something. Uh, we've all done things we're not proud of. No, I don't. I don't think I have, or, but it's not possible if I did. But I can't. Let me see. It, but... Let me see your gun. No. Hey, James, come on. Just you're already in, in a lot of shit. Just give him your gun. Don't worry about it. Let's get out of here. Like, go on. I... Like. King's Land thought I could trust you. 